Go 180, the three minute shop class. We know your time is valuable and so is your project. That's why we're providing these quick and easy instructions to help you customize your vehicle or add protection. In this video, we'll show you how to achieve the best results with our high heat paint for customizing things like your engine, headers, and exhaust components. Not only do these paints instantly personalize these components with a heat resistant flat finish, they also provide maximum corrosion resistance thanks to our trusted Stops Rust formula. You also get gas and oil resistance, which means your efforts will pay off with a long lasting finish. In walking through the steps, we're going to focus more on the baking and curing cycles after painting, because as you'll see, that's the key process for achieving great results. There are two options for baking, in an oven and on the vehicle. We'll give you tips for both, but first, let's briefly cover prep and paint. Today we're going to be painting an exhaust system while still on the vehicle. And as you should with any paint project, the first step is to make sure the surfaces are clean and oil free. If you're painting parts on your vehicle, you will, of course, want to mask off parts to protect from overspray. Next, we'll spray on our high heat primer, followed by the high heat paint itself. One thing I know you'll really appreciate is our Any Angle Spray technology that allows you to spray even with the can upside down. With the exhaust and muffler painted, we now come to the key steps, baking and curing. You need to allow the paint to dry for one to two hours before baking. For this exhaust system, we will, of course, bake it on the vehicle. But before we walk you through those steps, here are a couple of things you should know if you're baking a part in an oven. First, the item may emit smoke and a harmless odor. This is normal. And secondly, make sure you don't exceed the heat tolerance of the least heat tolerant part. And now, here are the steps for baking and curing painted parts on the vehicle. First, run your engine at idle for 10 minutes. Then, shut off the engine and cool for 20 minutes. Next, start the engine and idle this time for 20 minutes, followed by another 20 minutes of cooling with the engine off. And finally, run the vehicle under normal operating conditions for 30 minutes, after which you should allow the components to cool completely. After this baking and cooling process, you'll have a finish that will give you a great appearance tune-up and provide years of lasting protection. That's all for now. Visit our website at www.rustoleumautomotive.com and check out the rest of our videos for other ideas and solutions to customize and protect your vehicle.